most replayable, we have Animal Crossing New Horizons, Apex Legends, call it, I'm going to take Warzone off, and I'm going to take Destiny 2 off. Rude. Yes, very. Uh, I'm adding, you, hold on, I'm you, adding one. Okay. Oh, it's already at the bottom. Oh, is it? The, okay. Yeah, yeah. The it. it wasn't in the D's, so I was like, I, oh. I, I saw it, and I was okay. like, oh, I'll add this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here, I'm going to take Apex off, too. So we have Animal Crossing New Horizons, Doom Eternal, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Gears Tactics, Genshin Impact, Ghost of Tsushima, Persona 5 Royal, Phasmophobia, Resident Evil 3, Miles Morales, Watch Dogs Legion, uh, Shadowlands, XCOM Chimera Squad, Yakuza Like a Dragon, Fallen Order, Among Us, Hades, Godfall, and Demon Souls. Uh, someone forgot out the out apostrophe right, the right there. I did forget the apostrophe. <laughs> I'm going to throw two things out right at the beginning. Yakuza uh, 7 and Persona 5 Royal are, are Persona 5 Royal are both like apparently very good. They're both like 100 hour RPGs. Are they <laughs> yeah. really replayable? Same yeah, yeah. I, so I have surprisingly played. If if you want to count the original game, I, this, I've done four playthroughs. Damn, that's um, a lot of playthroughs. I, would, I know. I would, I would Those also waifus like ain't to, gonna romance themselves, dude. Yeah. I would also like to vote out um, replayability. I, I don't know. This is where my brain goes with replayability. It's a replayability is like a game with like a a, a pretty straightforward story, and it's so good you want to replay it. Among Us, Phasmophobia, and Animal Crossing are not those things. Yeah. I mm-hmm. fundamentally I mean, disagree. I think I mean, if you can constantly go I back to it, them... I mean, that's not really replaying it. You're just playing it again. It's the... It's, but how, how far do you want to dissect the word replay? <laughs> like, are you not relaunching the game multiple times? I don't know. It's, it's just... still playing mm-hmm. category, right? Well, like, we have a, I have a best... Okay. Game. Like it's the difference between you know. You can say that about Fortnite too. Like, but nobody yeah. wants to talk about that. I'm not like, trying to floss dance over. <laughs> Fortnite's there, okay? pretty cool. Fortnite is pretty dope. I will defend Fortnite. Yo, Absolutely. You know what's weird? They yeah, took this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's really dope. They took this new Fortnite character. They they gave him his own game. It's called God of War or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh my Halo god! I I yeah. if any Kratos kids actually it? say that, I want to murder them. That's awful. Master Chief. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm just gonna say off the top who the, the three i'm gonna vote for is one doom eternal because i've literally played that like 12 times it does not mm. get boring um persona 5 royal because there's a lot of meat on there especially that royal is added on top of the existing persona 5 systems mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. among us because mm-hmm. i like getting new people to lie to but you know what uh, i've been playing with cory the last couple times and i have very rarely been the imposter, so I've been the McCready of the group. No lying for me, yeah. but I have, I'm uh, good at figuring people out. I would like to remove Animal Crossing because it technically never ends. Big okay, fight, so. <laughs> that sounded so threatening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying, it literally is a game that never ends, so yeah. you can't really replay a game that you you never beat. Uh, for me, I would have to go. <laughs> Uh, Resident Evil 3, mostly because there is actual incentives to play in that game multiple times. I have so played that game. All those, all those grinding for kills <laughs> is such bullshit, but I got every single challenge in there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, wow, Shadowlands, especially with you being able to run alts through it, pick your pick your covenant from the beginning, do all that stuff. I would say and specifically I, for Shadowlands, because it's linear, it does suffer in the, in the alts department. No, I would personally think that makes it a lot easier to get alts through, but then again, we're both on the side of, I do not like o- open world battle for a- Azeroth, you liked open world stuff. Oh, I disagree so, with you. I, I mean, I agree with you on that. I, that yeah, I do prefer the linearity, but I don't play with alts. Uh, I stick well, with like one person. I have like 12, so I do. Uh, you have what we call a problem. One, my third one would would honestly be Watchdogs, just partially because of you can have like a different squad every single time you play it, so you could have like different mm-hmm. people with like different uh, uh, abilities and stuff. Okay, next. So, so, oh, go ahead. Let's see. I gotta go. Demon Souls number one. Yeah. Then <laughs> probably Miles. I've been playing a bit of New Game Plus, and it's really fun. And then probably Hades. And obviously Miles benefits from being so short and very nice. See, now when I put Godfall on this list, I was under the impression that replayability meant like coming back to a game that you'd already beaten and doing stuff afterwards. 
because like you know how some open open world games once you beat it it's like oh here's some more stuff to do that's how i was perceiving it and if that's how we were going to perceive it then godfall would have been on my list because i definitely want to keep playing that game because there's because there's like a whole tower challenge mode afterwards that i'm definitely going to be i I feel like replayability i feel like replayability needs to be categorized categorized Mm -hmm. as like (laughs) it's a game you've beaten like there's actually an end to the game and then then the game lets you go off and do what you want afterwards right and you can do Mm -hmm. more stuff or you can play the whole game over again and you know yeah yeah I agree. Okay, so let's just go and take whatever's multiplayer off. So buy Among Us. Yeah, I think multiplayers are kind of like multiplayer is a completely different category. So I think any multiplayer game needs to like the fuck out vam- of Vamos. <laughs> uh, Mesa, who you? There's the for? door. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um. So this is gonna, it's probably going to be the first one I really vote for things I really haven't played that much. I'm going to say first one being Demon Souls. Mm. Second one being uh um Wow, it just it Resident Evil. Ooh, that was that was bad for a second. Um and then third it's a toss up between Miles and Fallen Order. Cuz um I never did go the, back to Fallen Order to be honest. They, they added a lot to really? to, re, to 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 replay. Yeah. Hell yeah! Like there's a full challenge mode and everything. Yeah, it's it's they 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 they, they shared it out a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna give it to Fallen Order because because it hasn't gotten a lot of spotlight so far. Mm-hmm. So those are those are my three. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Resident Evil Three because I actually have played that multiple mm-hmm. times and I'm still trying to beat Nightmare Mode. Um, and so that's my, I'd say that's my number one, and then my number two would be Demon Souls because I was looking forward to playing that over again before I even started the first playthrough. Um, oh, so, yeah. <laughs> and then my third would have to be Hades because I got addicted to that game multiple days in a row. <laughs> All right, I think just based off the numbers, uh, Demon Souls wins. Hell. Woo! Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Let us cleanse the world. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So, pure heart. Don't let it. Don't let them take it from you. <laughs> let us mend the world. My bad. Let us mend the world. 